Now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. And we have definitely seen that heat, but today kicking off summer on kind of a mild note. Yeah, not bad. Average, and we love average. There's nothing wrong with it. It's right exactly where we should be. Clear skies, plenty of sunshine, and those temperatures in the mid 80s. Beautiful shot from our doTERRA camera looking at downtown Salt Lake City, where those temperatures this time of year typically are 86. We're at 85. Pretty close. Hope you're having a good summer. It's the longest day of the year. Sunsets at 9.03. Now we do have smoke in a portion of the state. I'll show you exactly where and where that smoke is headed with the winds. The heat is building. It's building back and it's going to impact us as we make it through the rest of our work week. Storms will be on the move thanks to that monsoon push. Okay, where's the smoke? South Central Utah. This is the view from Kanab of the Left Fork Fire. This plume of smoke this afternoon, noticeable winds pushing from the southwest. So we're going to watch that smoke as it gets carried over I-70 towards Castle Country, getting through the next eight hours to the eastern side of the state. The Futurecast model wants to bring some of that even into the Uinta Basin, so a heads up there. Bryce Canyon Country, pretty sucked in in that area. High pressure in control with very quiet conditions, which is why you can't find a cloud out there. But you do see the sunshine, the warmth. Definitely wants to stick around that southwesterly flow noticeable. It becomes more southerly as we head into tomorrow. Here's the reason why area of low pressure off the coast counterclockwise flow bringing in moisture from the Gulf of California and then an area of high pressure to our east funneling in Gulf of Mexico moisture. So two different moisture sources. That means we bring moisture potential into the beehive state and we capitalize on that and see some isolated thunderstorm activity where OK, well, for tomorrow, eastern Utah, central Utah and the south central portion of the state, there's a chance. Let's go ahead and look at the model. So we definitely know exactly the timing on when that's going to move in. So you notice the cloud cover increasing in the southern half of the state as we head into tomorrow afternoon by 6 p.m. Storms popping up in and around Castle Country, which already saw flash flooding over the weekend towards the I-70 corridor near Richfield in and around Lake Powell and even over I-15. Can't rule it out in Iron and Beaver County, so a heads up there as well as eastern Utah. This is a pattern that holds steady as we jump into Thursday. We deal with that daytime heating and that moisture pushes from south to north even further. So we get into the West Desert possibility of some areas along the Wasatch Front maybe seeing a storm. Elko and Ely will be active. Washington County could see it. Kanab. So we know the potential will be there. That's going to hold even as we head into Friday and Friday looks like the best day for northern Utah to get in on the mix, but we know the potential will be there. Speaking of potential, flash flood threat comes back possible in all of our favorite locations due to the fact that we could have storms. Now some of these thunderstorms could be dry thunderstorms, which means we just get lightning. That fire danger goes up. Don't love that, especially this time of year. 80s along the Wasatch Front tomorrow, with the exception of Salt Lake, climbing back into the 90s, slightly above the norm. We get 80s and 90s on the eastern side of the state, Vernal. Castle Country looking pretty good. 80s for the I-15 corridor. Again, South Central, especially higher terrain. Looking at storm development. Also the case in southeastern Utah, where temperatures will hit the 80s. 95 in St. George. Zooming in, find your city, those mountain valleys. Getting into the low 80s. We've got 40s and 50s for the overnight. 80s in Tooele, 90s in Ogden, getting into central Utah, mostly cloudy skies. So we are going to notice that influx of moisture bringing in more cloud cover, and that's from St. George into the central portion of the state. So more cloud cover, the sunshine soak it in today because may not stick around for portions of Utah for tomorrow. Temperatures will return to the triple digits by Saturday. Again, that chance of a storm will be there for the next couple days. Increased cloud cover as a result in the south. Here's the Wasatch Front, isolated chance, our best look. Friday, but it hangs around for the weekend. Notice those temperatures cool a little bit, but still above average for the next seven days. Typically, we're right around 86. We're going to be in the low 90s for the next little while, so we'll plateau there with the chance of a storm. Glenn, Courtney, over to you. All right.